My name is Christopher Earl Strunk. Uh, I am uh, presently standing in front of the uh, New York Stock Exchange and handing out a leaflet regarding the repeal of the Emergency Banking Relief Act. Uh, I'm sp spending time here waiting for all of the uh, all of the uh, brokers to come out, and uh, that happens at 4:30 or so, about 3:30 right now. And uh, I'm. Uh, I'm interested in uh, going from here to the Depository Trust and Clearing uh, uh, Corporation, uh, which is the company, which is uh, over on 55 Water Street, in which I have um, made a uh, submission as of a month and a half ago to, uh, uh, to have certification of uh, segregated uh, uh, trusted property for the uh, public U.S. Uh, citizens who have been uh, uh, part of a 500-person bundle under their secure, for security um, at the point that they uh, that they uh, assumed responsibility. The, um, the securitized collateral of that 500-person bundle is uh, used to uh, uh, collateralize uh, U.S. government uh, bonds and uh, other uh, private uh, obligations. And that um, I'm just making sure that now that I have my uh, interest uh, segregated, that I'm no longer part of that 500-person bundle, or else they would be involved in a Securities and Exchange Commission fraud by using that bundle in the full 500. Uh, come on through. Come on through. No problem. You want to see what I'm doing? No, okay. okay, sure. So uh, the point, though, is that um, it doesn't seem like a busy day. Emergency Banking Relief Act is. Let's take it along. Right, everything operates since 1933 under an emergency declared uh, that no bank can operate uh, without maintaining trusts or registered by the Federal Reserve and the Secretary of the Treasury. And we, How does that affect us? Well, it maintains you as a related uh, natural person guaranteeing the debt of your U.S. public uh, citizen which is registered in commerce. In other words, what FDR said is that the states have an obligation to put all state and uh, uh, public property in, in trust. So what are you trying to change it? Well, I'd like to see it repealed so that everybody would, what it did was to bring inland the 1917 Trading with the Enemy Act and made all public uh, property uh, in trust and under the obligation of the time of war. So it's explained in there. But so basically, what's the benefit of My name is Christopher Earl Strunk. I'm here on the uh, 5th of, uh, of June, the day before the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation is for to safeguard the collateral securities for a large chunk of the trading that occurs on the New York Stock Exchange and as collateral for bonds and bond offerings also. Again, securities are to securitize bond trading and stocks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, I'm here to uh, carry forward a leafleting I just finished at the uh, New York State, uh, New York uh, Stock Exchange, when all of the traders uh, left, and I'm here to discuss the. Can you zoom in on this? The Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, EuroClear. You see that SWIFT, SWIFT handles 90% of all the wire transfers in the world and at the end of the day gives it to the National Security Agency. What's interesting is that the Russians are no longer part of the SWIFT uh, wire transfer process. I'd like to find out why. And I'd also like to find out why the DTCC and Euroclear seem to be a totally unregulated agency which handles 90% of all the security transfers in the world. Uh, Euroclear is located in Belgium. 
and the DTCC is located here at 55 Water Street at the, uh, the Standard & Poor's building. I, that I make the surety indentures for the U.S. citizen, which is registered in commerce, which is a public citizen. I make that citizen, a natural human being, a private citizen by reversing their security indenture relationship to the, uh, to the public U.S. citizen, which allows them to become non-combatants under the Trading with the Enemy Act and allows for their property to be returned to them. So when I made a submission to the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation as a quasi-government agency, they had an obligation to, to certify the return of the property so that the 500-person bundle collateral securities that my name and my client's names are wrapped up in would no longer be used in the bundle unless they would be involved in a fraud, a constructive fraud, under the Securities and Exchange Commission's law. So that gave them an opportunity, and I'm doing another opportunity for them to cure their default. They did not respond within, 90 day, within uh, 30 days of the submission, nor has the, the uh, Secretary of the, of the Treasury responded within 90 days. So that as follow-up to this press conference, I am serving the DTC chairman with a opportunity to cure the default or else be in the position to be taken in under a equity case in Southern District of New York for a breach of fiduciary duty. And that'll be done under equity, not law. On the other side, if they do not uh, certify that I'm no longer part of that bundle they're using in trading and security, I'll take them into the law end of the court with the Securities and Exchange Commission as a whistleblower uh, to, to essentially collect on their fraudulent practice of using bundles which are not theirs in the transaction of stock and bonds. So uh, I'll follow this up by a summary on the video, which will go on YouTube. Uh, I will, I, um, I'll be doing another follow-up uh, video for your, for your information. And uh, Christopher Earl Strunk signing off. Have a good weekend. This is to commemorate the deaths of the American soldiers in Vietnam, and, uh, and I thought this was an opportunity I'd take in order to give them their just due. This is the day before D-Day, this is the 5th of June, and uh, I wanted to do sort of a sweep around this, and uh, there are a series of, uh, of commemorations of uh, those who fell in battle. a list of uh, all the names of people that fell in New York. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 12 panels. And each one of them's got 50 to 100 each. Plaza is dedicated to these three gentlemen who got the uh, members of honor. Top of that wainscot right there. That's where the water was, and it.